Hey guys, Ben here from Lone Star Hardcraft, and today I'm talking about our belt reduction drives for the Predator 22 horsepower engine from Harbor Freight. Um, these have been popular engines for a few years now. Uh, people use them on all sorts of projects like mini airboats, uh, hovercraft, uh, pusher fans for bow fishing boats and flounder rigs, things like that, even experimental aircraft. Um, this particular setup is just a stock Predator 22 with a, some of the pancake mufflers we make sometimes. And it's got a 52 inch uh, Ultra Prop 2 uh, three blade that we commonly sell with this. And this is a nice setup for a small airboat. Um, we've made the, the belt reduction drives for these for a couple of years and we've got an older video and we've made a lot of updates uh, since then. So we thought it'd be a good idea to show you some of the, um, the newer features on the drives. Uh, we've made it a little bit lighter um, and a little bit uh, lower cost as well. So the first thing you notice, um, zooming in here a little bit, is that most of the newer drives are using uh, a banded V-belt. We find that they're uh, a little bit more reliable in our experience. They don't require quite the, um, the detail and tensioning them to get them just right. Um, so these are you know, pretty forgiving. And adjusted properly, we don't have any issues with slipping. Um, so I'll give you a front view here. A couple of the other changes you might notice from older drives is we've switched to a much more compact mounting plate for the uh, upper pulley. So you can see here, it's a lot smaller than the older Predator drives and the more universal drives we make for other engines like Briggs and, and Kohler's. So that saves a couple pounds there. And we also have a newer tensioner system that's a little more self-contained and bolts straight to the engine. So you can see the uh, tensioner bar here, it's got two threaded holes through it. And we just have these long tap bolts that thread through the tensioner bar and push up on the uh, reduction drive plate. Um, so that replaces the old system we had where the entire engine mounted to a, you know, a thick aluminum plate and uh, the tensioner bolts ran through that. So the whole thing is about four or five pounds lighter than the older systems and has also brought the cost down considerably. So we find that they're really reliable little setups. Um, we use them on all sorts of um, different projects. So um, this is the latest version. I um, just wanted to give you a quick look at um, and update you on that. So if you have any questions, as always, you know, feel free to visit our website, comment in the, the video, or um, send us an email. So thanks for watching and we'll see you around.